but we are now filming to try and get this up. We appreciate all the love last week on uh, our videos and everything. We're gonna try and continue that this week. But now we're gonna go ahead and go in our favorite place with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. What do we have today? Today we have Spyderco Para 3, like not their entire lineup, but just a good selection of it. So one of the beautiful things that we, that we mentioned last week about Spyderco is the different steels and different handle materials they, they work in. So you'll see the Blurple comes in CP S110V um, and it, that's a satin blade and then their base steel is S45VN and it comes both in a coated and an uncoated different types of G10. Uh, this one is a bit of a one-off. This is actually S45VN with the blurple because someone wanted an S110V blade but wanted the black G10 as well. And then they also do lightweight versions. Um, they have CPM Spy 27 and CTS BD1N both in lightweight versions and they changed the pocket clip to make it even more lightweight and it is actually a deep carry wire style pocket clip. So uh, the the line is really versatile and like I said this isn't all of them this isn't even a drop in the bucket really they have this knife in many many different combinations. I think when we come to talking about Spyderco we can pretty much assimilate this knife and you can disagree with me or not as the bug out for Spyderco. Um, it's the small very versatile knife. I believe where Spyderco has a little bit edge on Benchmade is that they use a lot more different steels yeah. and change up the handle. Yeah. They come up with a lot more cooler combinations. Sprint runs. Sprint runs, yeah. etc. cetera. Um, I like Spyderco's compression lock. It's one of the more unique locks out there, even though it's a very simplified lock, just done a different way. But that's where that knife kind of fits in the realm. It's one of those knives, if you're jumping into Spyderco, you're not going wrong with that purchase. Um, and it's one of those everyday carries, no matter where you put it, how you use it, it's a very sturdy and stable knife, even though it is very small, similar to a bug out. Um, but yeah, guys, so if you have any questions on those, give us a comment, give us a like, whatever it is you'd like. Uh, <laughs> interact with us however you feel. We appreciate you watching today. We'll get this wrapped up so that way we can get it out to you. Take care, everyone. Peace.